Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, critics call them the crack cocaine of the high street and are asking for fixed odds betting terminals to be more heavily regulated. The government is carrying out a review of the machines which allow customers to place bets of £100 a time. It will publish its findings after looking at hundreds of responses. The Association of British Bookmakers, which represents betting shops, denies they have any link to problem gambling. Sean Lloyd reports. I've put like 200 quid in, I've been up to nine grand and back down to nothing within the space of like six hours because I just keep going and going and going, I, I don't stop. Sarah Grant is struggling to stop gambling. She's just moved into a flat after two years in a homeless hostel. Sarah lost everything, including her job, because of her problem gambling. You keep putting money in and then once it comes to a certain amount of money then you start thinking well actually let's just put some more in it'll have to win now because I've put all this money in it's bound to drop it's, it's gonna do it it's gonna and, and it just keeps going and going these are the type of machines Sarah used fixed odds betting terminals found in bookmakers on high streets up and down the country they're the subject of a government review Customers play casino-type games. With a maximum stake of £100, they offer the chance of a £500 win every 20 seconds. Critics say the high stakes and speed of play make them particularly attractive to some. These machines have been called the crack cocaine of the high street. What's your response to that? I think you have to look at the evidence. These machines have been available for 15 years. During that time, the levels of problem gambling in the UK haven't risen at all. They've stayed very, very stable. If these machines were specifically linked to problem gambling, you'd have seen a rise in the levels, and you haven't. Figures from the regulator, the Gambling Commission, show a slight increase in the number of people classified as problem gamblers over the past 12 months. The government believes the total number could be as many as 600,000. This secret filming shows how some players have reacted to the scale of their losses, taking their anger out on the machines. The industry says players are protected by messages that warn them about how long they've been playing. Critics say they don't go far enough. You put money in these machines and you can stay there all day and you can lose thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds because you become addicted to that machine. So I think that's why we have to do whatever we can to take the legitimacy away from these machines. Sarah is receiving therapy for her addiction, but wanted to share her experience of fixed odds betting terminals. Those who represent betting shops say it's the most regulated retailer on the high street. The government review is a chance for all voices to be heard. Sean Lloyd, BBC News, Cardiff. I've been getting away with it all.